shout out to all my stay at home moms out there. Getting back into the workforce can feel tricky, but I'm gonna tell you a couple things first that you're not gonna to wanna to hear, but then I'm gonna give you what you can do, okay? So first of all, for every year that you're out of the workforce, they say that you lose 10% of your skill set. So if you've been out of the work 10 years, the average stay-at-home mom's out about seven, but if you've been out 10, then in theory, all the skills that you had 10 years ago are considered not relevant now because you haven't been doing them, okay? But let's be honest. You are a highly skilled individual that's been doing a ton of stuff, that has learned a lot, and has an incredible amount of transferable skills after a decade of being a stay-at-home mom, okay? But that doesn't translate very easily on a resume. So when I have stay-at-home moms come to work at Daily, the first thing we do is figure out what kind of work you wanna do next. It's really important that we identify the kinds of problems you wanna solve, the pain that you wanna alleviate, the kind of work that you wanna do for an employer. That's the value you bring to the employer. We call it your UVA. So when you come into work at Daily and you get into the Job Search Accountability Program, we start with not your resume, not your LinkedIn profile, we're not there yet. We start with what's your unique value add? What's your personal brand? None of us are special, but we're all unique. So then we look at your transferable skills. As a stay-at-home mom, you have a lot of amazing hard skills. We need to pull those out of you. And once we've got that figured out, what your hard skills are, what your unique value add is, and what you wanna do, then we build you a resume and a LinkedIn profile that reflect that. But more importantly, we have you build an interview bucket list of companies you'd like to work for in that type of work. And what we have you do is share your connection story because here's how stay-at-home moms get hired, not by the resume, not by the LinkedIn profile but by their story, their connection story of why they're inspired to work for this company and what transferable skills they wanna to bring to it. We help stay-at-home moms get new jobs every single day because once they understand their brand and how to tell their story, they very enthusiastically reach out to these companies and these companies go, wait a minute, they have a great story to tell, they've got all these transferable skills and they have no bad habits. They haven't spent the last 10 years doing it our competitor's way or another way that we don't appreciate. They're moldable. They're excited to get back into the workforce. These moms are great. That's the brand you're going for. But if you don't know how to do that, it's not gonna land correctly. So what I see most stay-at-home moms doing incorrectly is they slap together a resume or a LinkedIn profile all based on stuff from over a decade ago. They're shooting off their resume to all these companies and they're being rejected. Well, yes, because that brand didn't impress them. That brand didn't do anything for them. When we teach you to brand yourself, leverage your UVA, get in front of these employers directly, now you're leading with that and not with the fact that you haven't been working in the working world per se for 10 years. That's the difference, okay? So stay at home moms, yeah, there's some steps you need to take in order to get that first job back in the workforce. But let me tell you something, you got a lot to offer and we do it correctly, those employers are gonna see that.